Hello and welcome to Fact Boys TV. In history, there are individuals whose lives are shrouded in mystery and controversy. Gudrun Margarete Elfrida, Emma Anna Berwitz, born on August 8, 1929, was one such enigmatic figure. She was the daughter of Heinrich Himmler, one of Hitler's closest associates, and a name that has become synonymous with the darkest chapters of Nazi Germany. This is the story of Gudrun Burwitz, a woman whose life was inexorably tied to her infamous father, and whose actions and beliefs continued to ripple through time. Gudrun's father, Heinrich Himmler, was the Reichsführer of the Schutzstaffel, Protection Squadron, SS, a leading member of the Nazi Party of Germany, and one of the most powerful men in Nazi Germany. Primarily known for being a main architect of the Holocaust, Gudrun's father, Heinrich Himmler, was born in Munich on October 7, 1900, into a conservative middle-class Roman Catholic family. His father was Joseph Gebhard Himmler, 1865-1936, a teacher, and his mother was Anna Maria Himmler, née Heide, 1866-1941, a devout Roman Catholic. Heinrich had two brothers, Gebhard Ludwig, 1898-1982, and Ernst Hermann, 1905-1945, Heinrich Himmler joined the Nazi party on August 1, 19.23, .23, receiving party number 14303. As a member of Rome's paramilitary unit, Himmler was involved in the Beer Hall Putsch, an unsuccessful attempt by Hitler and the Nazi party to seize power in Munich. In April 1934, Himmler was appointed assistant chief of the Gestapo, secret state police in Prussia, and from that position, he extended his control over the police forces of Nazi Germany. He masterminded the June 30, 1934, purge in which the SS eliminated the SA as a power within the Nazi party. Himmler's daughter Gudrun was born in Munich in August 1929. Her mother, Margarete Boden, was a nurse and got married to Heinrich Himmler in July 1928. Gudrun was the apple of her father's eye and she was showered with his affection. He often had her flown from Munich to Berlin to be with him and their close relationship was evident in their regular phone calls and letters. Heinrich Himmler's dark legacy looms large in history, but Gudrun staunchly defended her father's actions, even in the face of overwhelming evidence of Nazi atrocities. She never renounced the Nazi ideology, and maintained that her father's death in British captivity was not a suicide, but a murder. After World War II, she and her mother were arrested by the Americans and held in various camps, eventually testifying at the Nuremberg trials. Gudrun later described this period as the most challenging of her life, where she felt as though she had to atone for her father's sins. Gudrun's life took a controversial turn when she married Wolf Dieter Berwitz, a far-right propagandist and author who later became a party official in the extremist National Democratic Party, NPD, in Bavaria. Together, they had two children. She became affiliated with Stiller Hilfer or Silent Aid, an organization that provided support to former SS members. This group assisted notorious war criminals like Klaus Barbie and Martin Sommer. Gudrun's involvement with the organization raised eyebrows and fueled controversy. In a surprising twist, from 1961 to 1963, Gudrun worked under an assumed name as a secretary for West Germany's intelligence agency, the Federal Intelligence Service, BND, at its headquarters in Pullach. At the time, the agency was led by Reinhard Galen, who recruited ex-Nazis for their expertise in Eastern Europe and anti-communist activities. Gudrun's involvement in this covert world added another layer of intrigue to her story. For decades, Gudrun Burwitz remained a prominent figure in Stiller Hilfe. Her involvement in various meetings, including the annual Ulrichsberg gathering in Austria, elevated her status within the organization. Journalist Oliver Schrom described her as a flamboyant Nazi princess, highlighting the paradoxical nature of her public image. Gudrun's controversial legacy reached its darkest point when it was revealed that she provided financial support to SS Scharfuhrer Anton Malath, a former Nazi prison guard and fugitive war criminal. Malath was convicted of brutally beating prisoners to death at the Theresienstadt concentration camp, including the grandfather of investigative journalist Peter Finkelgrun. Gudrun Berwitz's life was marked by an unflinching defense of her father's actions and unwavering loyalty to Nazi ideology. Her association with extremist groups, her marriage to a far-right figure, and her support for war criminals 
make her a perplexing and polarizing historical figure. On May 24, 2018, Gudrun Berwitz passed away at the age of 88, leaving behind a legacy that continues to evoke both fascination and controversy.